that, like some of you I know maybe new to the league, haven't been on in it for a while. Uh, the league's been going on for uh, over six years now. It started out uh, in Bethel Temple with uh, a vision of some guys and some young men uh, to uh, start a flight football league. And so uh, and this is what it's become. And it's, it's really cool to see how it's evolved and, and grown and, uh, and just gotten better each year. And that's what we're all about uh, as leaders here is, is, is trying to make this as better, make it Make it, you know, better for you guys, for us, for, um, you know, keep, make sure we're keeping each other safe and, um, and just having a good time. So, uh, there's a few rules that we want to go over, some things that are changing a little bit this year. Um, we are, we're trying to add some more teams this year, um, this first thing. So, we're going to, uh, we're hoping to have about 15 or 16 teams. And um, with that, though, there is some restrictions on our time that we have for the field. Um, so there'll be some bye weeks and so on. So we're probably going to have, you probably have like three to four regular season games, and then four teams will make the playoffs. So, you know, based on your record. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about that? <laughs> so based on your record, you know, and your power ranking and all that is depend on who gets into the playoffs and stuff. So it's not everyone's going to get to play head to head this year. All right? 16 teams. 16 teams, that's right. You know, we want more guys involved, we want more so, people more enjoying competition. this league more competition. And, and enjoying what's going on. All right? Tough, man. We tough. All right, so change is good. I know it's, it's change is tough sometimes, but it's good. It helps you. And it makes the league better, okay? Right. So we're going to roll with that. And then um, another thing that we're talking about is, is we just want to make sure in all that we do in this league, everything that we do is to glorify God. All right? We want to make sure we're glorifying God on the field, off the field, whatever it may be. And uh, on the field, we want to make sure we're especially doing that and doing a better job of that. So um, one of the things we're talking about is uh, just being a Christian and stuff. We don't believe in, you know, you don't, you don't want to, it's not about deceiving people. It's not about, you know, the devil's a, the, the, the great deceiver, okay? So we want to make sure when we're on the field that we aren't doing that. So we're, we're not going to have, um, allow any spins or jukes anymore. Just because, uh, just hear me out, hear me out. And so, just because we don't think, we think that's, I mean, it's basically like you're deceiving the other team playing against. So, right. basically, when you get the ball, you gotta go straight up field. Like, that's right. as soon as you get it, you run. Alright? Right. So, we gotta make sure we got that. Just wait, just wait. It's gonna be, just wait, hear that. Hear that, guys. It'd be don't, better. Don't jump to the conclusion, you haven't tried it yet. Okay? So, um, so we got that. And then um, the other thing too is like we want to make sure that we, like I said, we're glorifying God in each play, even. And so what we're trying to do too, instead of instead of saying hike or go or hut, we're gonna we're gonna say Amen. All right. So it's kind of like a prayer leading up to it. Okay. So it's like you. Yes, <laughs> you get on the he, he agreed to this. I don't know why. What's, what's wrong with him? Because we about that. We about that in this league. God is the center. And we want to make sure that we glorify him on every play. All right? Every play. So when you say that, we want to say amen. So it's like, you can even say prayer. Like, God help us on this play. Amen. And you go. All right? So it's kind of like a little prayer. So everyone knows what we're about in this league. All right? Yes. Okay. So that's all we're trying to do. All right? You got that? Yeah. Okay. The other thing we're doing um, is uh, another big concern with us is just we've seen people get hurt. We've even had some people get hurt on this trip and everything. We, we want to make sure people are safe. Like when we're doing that, that throwing drill, before that some of you got hit in the face and stuff like that. And, um, and it was a good time and all. You know, we, we like that. And we want to make sure everyone staying safe. Everyone's good, okay? So what we're doing this, we're going to try a new football this year. Um, we're going to try something that's a little softer so that we don't have to worry about people getting hit in the nose. Oh, like, just wait, you haven't seen it yet. Why are you jumping to conclusions, alright? So we're using, we're using this, and it's cool they got NFL ones. I, I bought about 20 of them for the league this year. All they, all they have is Cowboys though right now. So we're using the Cowboys footballs, okay? So, you want to see it? It's not bad, man. It's not bad. You can throw it far. Let me see. It's easy to catch. You can throw it far, man. Uh, I'll help even out the playing field with the quarterback. This is very early. So you can, you can really throw it down the field. Here you go. Here, help me out. That's good. You, you can throw that nice, man. Yeah, you can throw that real, real nice. You can. You can find them down the field. It's not like the old Nerf balls. It's not like the old Nerf balls. Demonstrate on someone's head. 
Oh. See, look. <laughs> look, it didn't even hurt. You guys know, you guys know with the NFL, they're really worried about concussions and all that, and we're concerned about that too. That's right. Because you get hit, hit in the head with a football, it, it can give you a concussion. And it hits you just right, okay? But we want to respect that. We don't want your parents coming at us. Why my son get hit in the head with a blah, blah, blah. All right? Well, quiet down, guys. Come on, come on. Let's, let's respect it. This is serious. It's serious. serious. We care about your safety. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Alright, so, um, hey Izzy, could you come up for a second? Alright, the other thing, no, no, um, the other thing, the other thing, like, I know, you guys ever see that highlight of Troy Palomalu when he gets tackled by his hair? He get pulled down, right? So we, that's another thing we want to be careful. I know you can't tackle this, but still, I think there's a temptation, especially you guys got some longer hair like this. You know, and, and we, we can't force you to cut it off. I mean, that's your decision how you want to wear your hair. You know, that's up to us. But we are going to make every, make you wear something just to make sure the hair ain't in dangling down to make sure that it is. So can you put that on for me? Make sure all your hair in there, man. No play, right? And, and we'll that's good. No, it's a safe, man. Let's make it safe. Don't make it so we'll make sure we'll make sure you get one that matches your, your uniform there, okay? So every like a helmet, we can even we're, we're hopefully even maybe get the logo. And we'll have your team team, team colors and stuff, yeah. Team definitely. colors with the team names on it. So it'll be sweet. It'll be hot. It'll, it'll look good. I know it look kind of weird. I'll have to find a, a purple one right now. But uh, but we'll get you team colors. It'll look good. You have to go ahead and get one. No, you can wear one. If you want to have unity on your team, that's not a problem. You can go right ahead, okay? All right. So, uh, okay, another thing that we got, I need Brian to come up here. He's helping me out. Um, one thing, too, when you got, when we're playing, the, another big safety concern a lot of times is when you're running down the field and people trying to grab your flags, um, sometimes when you got pockets and stuff, I, I have known people, seriously, that, like, broken a finger or something like that because they get caught in a pocket. Uh, the short. So, you know, we we thought about trying to do, well, you just can't wear pockets and stuff. It's really hard, you know, all the rest have to go around and check the pockets, make sure, you know, who's not wearing and stuff like that. So we're just going to try and eliminate that problem. We're going to do two things, all right? First of all, we're going to uh, move the flags from the sides, okay? And we're going to move them to the front and back. Oh! 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 Hey, hey! Hey, come on, man. Just wait, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Just wait. Just wait. Come on, man. Respect. Uh, respect. We're we, we moving it from the side because also you can really you could break your damn finger by hitting the hip bone, okay? It's a little softer in the front and back. So you don't have to work like that. <laughs> okay, let's wait. Here we out. Here we out. So the other thing we're gonna make sure to also the boy from hitting the hit. Um, well, like I said, put the flight there, but also to just eliminate the shorts altogether. So Brian, you're gonna show this part of our uniform now. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Funny. We talked about it, but it's the first time I've seen it on somebody. <laughs> and yeah, you need to, you know, you need to put some socks in there and protect yourself. Yeah, but, you know, grab a pair of the side hair so they can't hit you. In the face. Yeah, so I can get some protection on the flags. All right. So um. I know you're old. So uh.